G'day guys, welcome to my Rx Wires feature video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about NRL's Round 19's recap preview for 2022. Guys, so let's get started. So starting off with this first game of this match, we see the Eels going up against the Broncos. Now this game is going to be real tough. Um, this game was absolutely like, real tough and real hard. Uh, especially in the wet conditions, um, it was raining a bit here and there. Um, I did that vlog, I was down there with uh, Ent Entertainer, so go and check that out. It's up on uh, my YouTube, RXYSV2, um, so go check it out. I've uploaded, up uploaded it anyway, so um, yeah, this game was absolutely robbery and Things didn't go our way with the ref going against us, and that match was absolutely horrendous. 36 to 14, and that match didn't go our way at all. Um, the Broncos really took things difficult in that um, position where. Um, our end didn't really equalise very well. Um, but still, I think it was robbery because the calls were absolutely shocking and, and that game wasn't really good at all and I wasn't really happy about it because forward passes were happening um, against the Broncos. No, basically for the Broncos anyway and yeah and stuff like that so yeah it was just absolutely robbery fair and square and yeah it was a very good game though still but yeah rob robbed all over The next game of this match, we see the Dragons going up against the Manly Seagulls. Now, this game was 20 points to 6 um, in that match, which that means um, Manly obviously lost that game and wasn't really good at all for the club and for the team. And yeah, they just didn't really execute very well at all. They're just another team that really hasn't hit the mark at all um, with their players obviously um, still uh, didn't really execute very well but I just think that how the way they play their style of form was absolutely real crazy for them um, but still I just think that game was a really good match and Obviously, the Dragons played really well in that game, which I think uh, last week after that, they played against the Roosters, so they obviously wanted to win against the Manly Sea Eagles. So, yeah, it was kind of a bit of a change for the Dragons. But I got a little bit of breaking news anyway, so uh, apparently there's no assistant coaches for the Dragons, which that means only Anthony Griffin will be only just um, the coach for the Dragons, unfortunately. So yeah, just give you guys a little bit of a heads up. <clears throat> no, but anyway, uh, yeah, the Dragons played really well. They played a really good game, and 20 points to 6 was a very good match for them. The next game of this match, we see the Knights going up against the Roosters. Now, wow, 42 points to 12. A really good effort by the Roosters that had to really make a mark in this game. And, yeah, wow, did I see some effort by this team. Absolutely really good opportunity by the Roosters that made a really good effort in this team and in that club Wow, did they just 
had to make a mark in that um, style of form. Usually the Roosters aren't a very good team at all, but since they went against the Dragons like two weeks ago, now it's like they had to win against the Knights. And usually uh, the Roosters um, have got a really good record against the, against the Knights um, in the Knights Stadium, so yeah, that's why uh, the Roosters win, because usually they are a very good team. But for the Knights, made two tries in that game, but apparently no Kalen Ponga for the rest of the season. He is out for the rest of the season and won't be coming back at all, which I think it's the Knights that are completely over and their career is basically screwed and shot. So, at the moment, yeah, it's uh, just not a very good time and effort for them and yeah, not a very good season for the Newcastle Knights at all. But anyway, 42 to 12 in that match. The next game of this match, we see the Raiders going up against the Warriors now. Um, 26 points to 14. This game uh, was a very good match. Obviously, I just think that how the way they play their style of form, uh, the Ra Raiders, just a very good team at the moment. And yeah, they're just making a very good mark uh, for the club. Um, very close game this was and for a fact that the Raiders aren't a very good team at the moment they just find their way to make a very good effort for the club but Jamal Fogarty uh, played a very good game in this match um, he's a very good player for the team that also came from uh, the Titans but I just think for the Warriors they're not a very good club at all. They're struggling so bad. And at the moment, they're just not equalizing very well. Obviously, they've got very good players, but I just don't think Chanel harris Davida is a fullback that plays in that um, type of form. But I just think that Chanel harris Davida is a number six, not a number one. Which Reese Walsh is a number one, and I just don't know why that happened. Because yeah, it wasn't going their way at all. But the Raiders made a very good effort for the team, and I just think they'll go well in the season, but not like in the top eight. I just don't see them in the top eight at all. But yeah, twenty-six points to fourteen in that match. The next game of this match, we see the Panthers going up against the Cronulla Sharks. Now this game, wow. <sighs> Did I see some form by the Panthers? <sighs> but, I cannot believe that Del Finucane just goes towards Stephen Crichton and basically uh, whacks uh, Stephen Crichton and made a chunk out of his ear, got thrown out. That was one horror move. And I just don't think that it wasn't very pleasant and it wasn't very nice at all. But now, the Panthers are now very angry at Delph and Oakley now for doing that. So, yeah, Delph and Oakley, it has got um, two match suspensions. So, he'll be out for two matches. So, yeah, 
now Stephen Crohn's gonna need some st stitches and uh, some plates to go put it back in and now it's like <laughs> one crazy thing that really happened but anyway guys moving on from that the bad is only won by 10 points in this game which I knew for a fact that it wasn't going to be a big win this game was going to the point that uh, the Sharks did really well but it wasn't going to be a very good effort by the Sharks to obviously make a very good win. But anyway, well done from the Panthers for making a really good win against the Cronulla Sharks 20-10 in this game. The next game of this match we see the Rabbitohs going up against the Melbourne Storm now. Well, did I see some effort? Did I see some really good uh, tries in that game by uh, the Rabbitohs? 24 points to 12 in this game. Very average uh, scoreline. But um, the Melbourne Storm came back with two tries in this game. But Marion Seve, I think, scored that try. Uh, the one right, the run away try. But the Storm. Uh, since they've got no Ryan Poppenhausen, which he, he will be out uh, for the season, which fractured his kneecap in 10 places. And so, yeah, he'll be needed to uh, recover if he wants to play for, obviously, the next round. Um, no, the next um, following game for next year anyway. So, yeah, he'll be out for extended period of time. But for the Rabbitohs, um, they played a very good game with obviously Alex Johnston scoring heaps of tries in this game. Wow, he is one style player. He is absolutely a superstar for the team and without him, the Rabbitohs are just sloppy. And the Rabbitohs are gonna be very um, terrible for the team. Anyway, <coughs> uh, well done from the Rabbitohs for obviously making a very good win. Uh, 24 points to 12, very average scoreline for the team. It's very close uh, for the team, but yeah. Well done from the Rabbitohs for making a really good win against the Melbourne Storm. The next game of this match, we see the Bulldogs going up against the Titans now. 36 to 26 in this game. The Bulldogs came with energy, pride, proud, and effort. And wow, did I see some form. Did I see some energy from the Bulldogs with Adokar intercept tries two in the first half and in the second half I just think um, that the Bulldogs did a very good effort and with Tino and uh, what's his name to feed the Penguin Jr well, they hate each other. Because T uh, Tavita um, wanted to smash Tino. And only because of that. <laughs> wow. He obviously did. And with Tino sulking um, about all the eye gouge and stuff like that. Mate, it was only that. How is that an eye gouge? This is why Tino was sucking about it and just wasn't a um, very good effort by this team and by uh, this club. And the Titans didn't really make a very good effort at all. And so in this game, that match was a very good effort by the Bulldogs. And yeah. 36 points to 26 in this game. 
Now, the next game of this match, we see the Cowboys going up against the West Tigers. Now, let's just get a point here. How the hell were the West Tigers robbed? Well, let me give you an explanation. The West Tigers, right, weren't robbed. It was the ref's fault. I wonder why Ashley Klein was dropped. So, the Cowboys, right? Supposed to win that game. Right? So, how the hell is the West Tigers taking it further? Which, might my point of view which that is silly which now the West Tigers are now sucking and the West Tigers are now having a grudge which now I just think that the West Tigers deserve to be down below but anyway, the Cowboys deserve to win that, and now the West, uh, the West Tigers are now sulking, which in my point of view, they need not to. And now, I just think that in my point of view, get over it and move on. It's just a game. A game is a game. But anyway, the West Tigers played a very good match, 27 to 26 in this game, and for uh, Valentine Holmes to kick a penalty goal, he obviously did, and to obviously win by one point. But anyway, that game was a very good match, and the Tigers did not get robbed, it was the ref's fault in this game. But anyway, well done from the Cowboys for making a really good win against the West Tigers. 27 to 26 in this game. Thanks guys for watching this video guys. Stay tuned for more. We'll be doing a couple of videos coming to you guys soon. Also I'll be doing more videos coming to you guys soon so stay tuned for more. Plus leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then take care guys stay safe and have a good one. Plus let's go up to 300 subscribers soon. 270 anyway, so let's go up to that, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.